Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Marine X back at it again. And listen, it is spring finally getting out of winter for 2021, 2022. I want to talk about my spring EDC, the things I'm carrying around with me, taking into spring, the things I need whenever I leave the house. More and more often, I'm getting out on my one wheel. I'm going out on walks. I'm taking my family out on the strollers, all that good stuff. And I always have an assortment of items with me that are essentials, especially as we transition into this nice weather. I end up at coffee shops, at libraries, have to go to work every now and again. These are the things I always have with me. So I just want to be able to give you any ideas that may or may not be useful when it comes to EDC items, things that you may or may not need or you may want to carry. So first of all, let's get started with the tech that I carry. Let's move this laptop out the way. So the first thing I bring that I have with me at all times, I normally got a couple of phones on me. So right now I'm carrying the iPhone 13 Pro and I'm carrying the Google Pixel 6. Awesome phones. One of them is for work one of them is for personal i really like the quality for both i prefer the google pixel 6 when it comes to still photos i prefer the iphone when it comes to quick videos i do a lot of instagram reels make sure you're following me on instagram the marine underscore x i do a lot of instagram reels with the iphone they talk great and you know it all connects well with my ecosystem i actually prefer androids more than i do ios and apple but it's still good to have the iphone because i do edit on apple computers my family has iphones all that good stuff so awesome phone i got it in this emerald green color way here and then i got the uh, google pixel 6 in the sort of orange color i think they call it and i just slapped this skin on here by d brand so really nice skin on here so i can keep it protected i prefer to keep my phones naked i actually carry all my devices naked so we're moving on to my ipad mini 6 ipad mini 6 awesome device i really like this for consumption of news whether that be apple news google news anything like that i also use this for playing games so you know playing games on the iphone and the google pixel are cool but it's just a different experience when you get it on the bigger screen this does have the 8.3 inch screen on it. I put another uh, skin on here by D brand. It's kind of this, this uh, camo. I really like the way that looks as well. I got the 256 gigabyte variant just to have plenty of room to be able to download Netflix videos, YouTube videos with YouTube premium and watch those stored on the memory of the device and not always have to be connected to Wi-Fi. I also use this in conjunction with the next item I have here, which is my computer. Before we jump into the computer, let's talk about the actual sleep sleeve that I keep it in. This is a bulletproof sleeve by Premier Body Armor. This actually can take rounds up to about a 45. So it can't put, you know, it's not going to stop a 762. It will stop like a 556, 223, a nine, a, a, you know, a 380, something like that. So you can keep this in your bag. So between the actual bulletproof padding that they keep in the actual case itself, show that to you right here. So they got the plates right on the inside. Um, so you got that the computer itself is it's a um, two of these plates on either side of the the sleeve you know plus any accessories that you keep in the front pocket this makes for a pretty good bulletproof item to keep in your bag so you know that way you always kind of have a level of protection if you do decide to go if you ever some have some type of threat that's in front of you you can put your bag in front of your body right in front of your abdomen area and this will give you good protection for there so the the computer that i carry with me everywhere i go is my macbook pro the 14 inch this is the m1 max variant i have two terabytes of ssd on this thing 32 gigabytes of of unified memory this thing's a beast man i use this thing for on the go editing coffee shops if i have to travel if i'm going to a friend's house or something like that this is the the computer i bring with me of course i'm not like a super expert when it comes to like computers and stuff like that if you don't need this type of power if you're not doing video editing you're not writing code you're not doing anything like that you'll be fine with like a macbook air m1 mac mini something like that because when it comes to single core processor like everyday browsing of chrome tabs word documents excel sheets all these computers are great you need this when you're going to be doing more intensive tasks so editing multiple streams of uh, 4k footage like we're doing right now this is my go-to for that and this also has the d brand skin on it this has a real leather skin by d brand i'm, I'm a big fan of d brand by the way because they kind of got that fu mentality when it comes to you know other businesses and people getting mad about their products and i kind of like that now if i'm going to be doing a lot of editing on the go i do bring the logitech mx anywhere three so it's nice small compact mouse that i bring with me you can connect up to three devices to this thing here 
and it works really well simply just you can switch devices by pushing a button on the back and you can have up to three things connected so i can have my ipad connected a phone my computer whatever the case may be so i love the keyboard on the macbook pro i like the trackpad as well but if i'm going to be doing a lot of different editing or if i want to keep my computer a little bit away from me and use a keyboard I like to bring this mouse with me in my bag itself i always keep a bag flashlight and a bag pocket knife so right now i am rocking the 511 admin pouch that is the hook and loop on the back my bag i'm still using the vertex ready pack 2.0 this has the hook and loop i can hook this any part of the bag on the inside inside i do keep the o light uh the pre the pre-run i guess they called it p-run i'm probably mispronouncing this thing Really, really small, compact flashlight. It holds a charge for a long time. Of course, it has Olight's charging technology, so you can charge that with the, any Olight charger on the bottom. I like this because I can hook this to the brim. If I'm wearing a, any type of hat or anything like that, I can hook this to that and I can continue to work while it's hooked to a hat. I could hook this to my shirt if I needed to work or anything like that um, and just continue to have light source and free up my hands. Along with that, I'm also carrying the Benchmade Mini Crooked River. This is an awesome little EDC uh, pocket knife that I recently picked up. I'm trying to develop a little bit more patina. If you look at his big brother here, I've had his big brother for well over a year. And if you see that difference in patina, so this handle, real wood handles, the oils from my hand have definitely started to discolor the way this wood looks. And I love the way that looks. So over time, this wood is going to start to patina as I use it more, handle it more. It does need to be worked a little bit more. It doesn't close very easily. Unlike its big brother, I can whip this thing open pretty easy and I can close it pretty easily. The smaller one here still needs to be worked a little bit, but it has great action right out of the box. S30V steel. This is a great little pocket knife now this is good of course you're opening boxes and stuff like that but as i enter into spring i enter into hunting season for dove for quail and for turkey so i use this as a quick companion hunting knife and then i have my flashlight as well so you may have seen my review for the gerber stakeout tool i'm not the biggest fan of this tool to carry on my person but when it comes to keeping in my bag especially if i'm going to be going camping recently i was at a cookout we had tents tents have stakes they're in the ground this tool comes in handy very quickly just have it's a little proprietary tent stake puller here and gra use this grab those stakes out of the ground that was really nice easy to use you know let's have a little carabiner a bottle opener all that good stuff i just wasn't the biggest fan of this thing overall you know i am a fan of a few of the features but for the price and all that good stuff i probably can do without mainly because of the scissors the scissors are not as great as scissors on other multi-tools that i carry that's why this does not make it into my pocket but for my bag easily can carry this as a bag quote unquote a bag multi-tool so i have that in here at the ready for whenever i need it now recently i've been trying to give a whirl with the orbit key key ring now this is a genuine leather key ring i do have a couple of dummy keys in here but you know this thing has been coming in handy i've been trying to use it a little bit more than the wing back you know I, I oftentimes i carry the wing back and it has my little secret 20 dollars in there if you haven't seen that video i'll make sure i link that up for you as well i like how slim this is in the pocket i'm still not a fan of how fat this is and i've been trying to work this purposely more slender by manipulating it kind of like a fidget toy so that's why i've been carrying this with my real keys i got dummy keys in here for the video but it's easy to access here with the multi-tool that i may have to add Add more keys it can hold up to seven keys and of course you can also hook like a larger key fob for like a vehicle on the outside but i'm not sure how i feel about it yet i'm going to keep carrying it for the spring and we're going to decide if that's going to be my key ring moving forward now of course to keep my tech nice and going i do carry an anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank and this thing has seen you know it's put, it's put in some work it does have a battery indicator at the top here you push this button it illuminates and lets you know how much charge you have left and also you know you can charge this power delivery with usb type a you can also charge it with micro usb c or with the micro usb so different ways to charge it different ways to deliver power and it's nice and slim so i can keep this in my back pocket or my front pocket along with a phone now i always keep a camera with me besides my actual phone cameras because this thing at the end of the day is a beast this is a fujifilm x100v this is by far my favorite camera i use for taking photos 
photos of my family, taking photos of objects or things that I see while I'm on the go. This thing just gets the job done. I do have a Glimmer Glass 3 on the front, so now it makes this thing completely weather sealed. I can pull this out in the rain. I can use it when it's snowing out. I did take pictures when we had our little bit of snow this year, and this thing is awesome. Comes in like 1300 bucks, so you gotta be really serious about your point and shoots if you're gonna use something like this. Now, if I take photos, I need to sometimes get those photos off on my iPad directly on my phone or sometimes uh, have double devices on my computer. Now my computer has an SD card slot, but it's nothing like having this little, uh, it's like a fail plow, fail plow. I don't know who these folks are, but this little dongle here gets the job done with three USB type A ports a SD card slot and a micro SD card slot. It also has an HDMI slot on the end. But what I use this for mainly is I plug this up into my iPad mini or I'll plug this up into my Google Pixel 6 and I can get those photos off while I'm on the go. So another thing that I'm really big on is when I go places, I gotta have good bourbon with me. If I'm going somewhere that's gonna be with some whack bourbon, right now I'm drinking Old Forester 1920. If I wanna bring something like that with me and not just walk around with a bottle like some kind of wino or drunk, I need a, to bring a flask. So I do have the Harlan Classic uh, flask here i like this because you can fill this thing up without a funnel so it's really nice wide mouth you can just pour this right into the spigot the spout without needing a funnel like you would normally need with other types of flasks it's also really slim so you can slip this in a pocket and it has a low footprint and it's pretty durable also on the go it is important to me to have the ability to write now you know in my pocket i do keep a small little edc type of notebook just in case i want to take a quick note if i want to leave a note for someone one. Maybe I don't want to handle my, my phone. I'm not a germaphobe, but sometimes it's easy to give someone a note versus, you know, letting them have my phone and put their paws all over it. So I carry this little notebook by Hive. This thing is awesome. And first of all, the actual pages themselves are the grid lines. And I like the grid lines because it's good for drawing, but also the paper itself is made of crushed stone. So it's a way to use recycled stone. So you can actually feel that when you're writing on it. It feels, it has this really weird feeling to it, but it makes it so when I'm writing on it, it doesn't bleed as easily on my hand when I'm writing. Of course, I love different EDC pens. This one is by Tactile Turn. This one's called the Nebula. This is an awesome pen. This is one of their limited edition drops. I got the number six, I believe. I think they only came out with 70 of these pens, but it's just this really weird material. I don't know if Nebula is the material. Maybe I should do more research on it. At the end of the day, I like the way it looks the way it writes, the way it feels. It comes in at $200, so it's not cheap, but it's a boat action pen. Awesome, they have different you know, price options if you're gonna go with tactile turn. You don't have to go with the big whomping $200 option here. Now I have kids. Because I have kids, I do need to bring a couple of items besides what's in their bags that is normally comes in pretty handy. So these are kind of a pairing that go together. So this one here is a wet bag. It's a wet dry bag, so you can use it for one of two ways. You can either use it to keep Keep something dry that you don't want to get wet if it's you know if you're outside if you're moving through the rain or you can do something that is wet that you do not want to get stuff that is dry wet so your kids go to someone's house they have a water balloon fight just happened last week didn't know we were going to let the daughter participate we were able to get her socks off throw them in here her sh in, in in her sh shoes off throw them in here keep these in the back seat she's just sitting in the back of the truck barefoot no big deal but now she doesn't have wet socks on her the whole ride home and then when you get home, just let this thing air out. This is made by Matador. They make all sorts of little different things, you know, and it fits really compact. You can keep this on a keychain. You can keep this in a bag, whatever the case may be. I have several of these things. I have several Matador products overall. They, I just think they make great products. Along with that, we also got to keep some good old bug spray because at the end of the day, my wife, my kids do not like bugs. So we got a little bug spray that we can rub on all of my kiddos, myself, keep the mosquitoes off of us. If we're going to be out longer than we expect it, it's good to have that. Now, of course, I would not be who I am if I didn't have a little bit of survival, no matter what I got going on. So all this stuff fits in my bag nice and neatly. I do keep a very small mini survival kit in an Altoid size uh, can. This is by the SE mini survival kit. You know, really, really simple kit here. I have it held together with a Ranger band but you can just keep different items you may need to keep in here. I have a little bit of tinder, a little bit of cordage, have a, a knife in here, a button compass, 
we have a flint and we have a striker and just a fishing line, just different items that may be needed if we're somewhere longer than we expected. It. It's always nice to just have the most subtle, you know, survival kit that you can make. You can just buy this tin and DIY it, or you can buy their kit already made and just throw it in your bag. So you guys know that I like to smoke sticks. So I usually bring a very, very cheap uh, cutter with me. This is a V cutter that I got on Amazon. I think it's Cigar Long or some company like that, just so I can cut cigars. And I do have this Zippo um, holder. It's 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 a uh, Molly style, so I can hook this to my belt or hook this to my bag. Inside, I do have a Thunderbird. This is a Thunderbird lighter with a Thunderbird insert, a soft flame uh, butane insert. So really, really nice to be able to have this on me at all times. If I'm going somewhere where there's a few adult folks and we're gonna be enjoying some sticks. And I always have the ability to jam out to some music with me as well. So I'm kind of a guy that likes throwback things. You may have seen on my Instagram reels, I have a VCR with VHS tapes and stuff like that. I have an iPad Nano. I think this is the fifth generation. This thing fully functional thing. I use it all the time and it plays through speakers that are located on the bottom of the device. And I also have headphones that I'll bring with me sometimes. This is just a novelty piece, man. You pull this thing out, you start jamming out to music. People are like, oh man, you still got one of those things. So I like the iPad Nano. I keep it updated via my computer. I load songs on it. I like doing stuff like that. So it has a little whack camera on the back that you dare not ever use, but it is included. And it's been ticking for me, I think for going on 10 years now. So iPad Nano, really awesome. But sometimes, you know, you gotta stay in today's day and age. So I do keep the Sony. These are some noise canceling Sony earbuds, which are okay. The case is kind of trash. It's made out of like this recycled material, which catches all the dirt in the world. And it's not a nice patina, it's a kind of a dirty patina. I don't know if I like the way the case looks. It, it looks really trash but the actual headphones are fire like once you get these things seated in your ears they are like these noise canceling headphones i'll link them up down below because they got some long name that sony does with their headphones charges up with usb type c so i always got to charge it with me or you can just set this entire case on a q wireless charging pad and charge this wirelessly so that's it is there anything that i'm missing is there anything you keep in your edc i should suggest that maybe consider myself comment down below let me know what you keep in your edc do you change it out seasonally am i the only freaking nick and poop that likes to do stuff like that also listen if you're not a part of the battalion hit that subscribe button, man. We would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. For everyone else, we'll speak soon.